Welcome to the World Journal. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Pisces for the week starting the 20... That was quick. The 29th of November to the 5th of December 2021. So the Fool. <clears throat> There's a new beginning here for Pisces. They could be... <clears throat> they could be traveling. They could become single. So they're brand new. Pisces feels brand new here. Maybe you have Aries in your chart or you're on the cusp of Pisces and Aries. Five of Wands, there's some kind of conflict though. What's the conflict? What's happening for Pisces this week? You see how the Five of Wands wanted to come out again, but it came out in the reverse now. Five of Wands reversed. So maybe you're coming out of a conflict. Six of Cups. This could also be... Um, it might have something to do with a child. Maybe you're a child. Maybe um, a parent or a child of yours could have had some kind of conflict with you. And they could be apologizing to you. Or you're apologizing to them. Look, another fool here on the bottom of the deck. Also, you could get a love offer. You could have a lot. Of, there could be a lot of competition over you. Does that make sense? There, A lot of people could be competing for your attention, but you're going to choose one particular person. Look at that, the Two of Cups. So you're going to choose your soulmate. You're going to come out of conflict. Maybe you had some conflict with your soulmate or... Uh, you could have had a lot of people competing for your attention, like I said, and you're choosing your soulmate here. 62 could be significant for somebody. So, I'm not sure if you're going towards the soulmate or they are, but with the fool it could be that you're going towards this person. Nine of Pentacles. This person um, could be single, they could be a Virgo, they could be some kind of healer, or they could be an owner, a business owner. So who is the person you're going towards? <clears throat> there, okay. Queen of Cups, again, I, to I talked about the healer. This could be indeed a healer, Two of Pentacles. This could be someone who's very balanced emotionally. Or somebody who balances you out emotionally. Also, this could be you, right? Because Queen of Cups is Pisces. So maybe you're the healer. Ten of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. So this is a, a marriage proposal here that's uh, happening for you. Either you're proposing to somebody or somebody's proposing to you. Six of Pentacles. They want an equal give and take. So there you go. This is good. So you're coming out of a conflict and into a committed relationship. Somebody could have been planning this for a while now. Also, the, you could be um, moving away. King of Wands. This could be a fire sign you're dealing with. So this person, you might be moving away with this person. You might be traveling with this person. This person could have planned some kind of retreat. King of Pentacles, where they... Or you're going on holiday with somebody, as planned. And when you're on holiday, this person is going to um, propose to you. Okay, so should you say yes? Eight of Pentacles, work on it. So, yeah, I guess so. It works. <laughs> Maybe this is something you manifested. Five of Swords. Look, Five of Swords on top of the Five of Wands. Seven of Cups. Maybe this is something you... Again, you might have had issues with this person, actually, with the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands. Or other people could have tried to interfere in this relationship. There could also be two people. There could be two men that are interested in you. You could be this Queen of Cups and there are two men who are interested in you. Maybe a fire sign and an earth sign. Four of Wands. 
one of these people could be your your husband maybe or your twin flame you've got choices here you've got options so who should you choose okay let's see if, uh, let's do a versus between these two kings because they could be two different energies because it does look like um, you have multiple options here so who is the king of wands well the six of wands wanted to come up here and the queen of cups who is the king of wands please who is the king of wands nine of cups this could be another pisces or scorpio or this could be you this could be for a male pisces who might have um fire in their chart like i said you could be on the cusp maybe of pisces and aries possibly so this could be you if you're a male pisces and who is this other person Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Six of Swords, the Fool. This could be somebody who is married, who has a third party. But this person is going to move away from, from the third party. They, or they're becoming single. Or they want to be with you. They might take a leap of faith with you and leave their current relationship. Is this person going to leave someone for you here? Is that what I'm getting? Because that's what it looks like. So once you go towards this person, this person's going to leave their fur party. Is that it? Yes, that's it, I think. Yeah, look at that. Ace of Wands. Two of Swords. Nine of Swords. Twenty-nine could be significant. And Queen of Wands. They have a lot of passion for you. This person's really attracted to you. They feel like you're their soulmate. This could also be cheating, right, Queen of Wands? But it's like you're you're the King of Wands, they're the Queen of Wands. So they're going to let this other person go. Why does the Queen of Swords keep coming out with the Knight of Wands? Because I've been seeing this a lot lately. What's with the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Wands? Two of Pentacles. These people could be... Um, Soulmates, twin flames with the two of pentacles. They could balance each other out. Could be an air sign and uh, Sagittarius here. Or you might have you might have Aquarius and Sagittarius in your chart. Two of cups also. So these are soulmates. There's a soulmate relationship here. But somebody needs to leave a third party behind. Eight of Pentacles and work on this relationship. Yeah, I think it's the person. Yes. This is the person you're, you're going towards, I think. So I think you're a male Pisces going towards this person. And this person's going to leave another relationship for you. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. I hope this helps. Have a good day. Take care.